Jeff Flocken from the International Fund for Animal Welfare. Uh, Jeff, what do you make of this story? My first thought when I heard this was, I did not even know this was a thing that, that people did. You're right. Actually, most people are surprised when they find out that Americans can legally go and kill an African lion. The verdict's still out on this particular case, whether this was done legally or not legally, but that begs the bigger question. If, in fact, lions are threatened with endangered, which they are, there's been a 60% decline in the species in the last 30 years, it's in trouble. It needs help. Why are we allowing Americans or other citizens of the world to go out and kill them for sport? It doesn't make economic sense, it doesn't make biological sense, and it certainly doesn't make ethical sense. Well, so, so there's two issues here, right? So there's the, there's the fact that there is an industry of big game hunting in which people can legally go uh, off into Africa uh, and to the subcontinent particularly, uh, in, in sub, I'm sorry, sub-Saharan Africa, and to essentially hunt big game in a legal fashion for, for tens of thousands of dollars, right? Absolutely, and that's not just African lions, but includes endangered species like African elephants and rhinoceros, as well as species that we believe are in great decline, like leopards or giraffes. Now, in, so that, that is the legal part of this. This appears to be of something shadier, right? Or at least the allegation from the officials here is that actually this lion was both in a preserve and also was collared. Is, is, is that correct? What's the significance of the lion having had a collar? Uh, the animal was being studied and had been part of a long-term study and become something of a local celebrity in the national park where it was. Now, one significance of that is that it brings in revenue to local people when tourists come wanting to see that lion. By killing it for this one-time safari, taking it out of the park, in fact, that value now is lost for the long term for people who were benefiting from that animal being there. And we learn again and again from polling and from the economics of the situation that people will pay to go see animals on safari, that the majority of them do not want to see them killed. They want to see them and take pictures. Right. Nature safaris bring in between three and 15 times more income than any hunting safaris in Africa. What do you attribute? Obviously, there's there's a frenzy right now, and, and I just want to say for the record that I don't think people should be, you know, um, wishing this person gets cancer, etc. Like, there's a there's a justice system, and, and he may be extradited. Zimbabwe has been talking about that. There's actually an extradition treaty, if, if I understand this correctly. But what do you what do you account for the kind of just total comprehensive revulsion that people have at learning this story? People love wild animals. And polls have shown, up to 80% here in America, when polled recently, said that they do not want to see imperiled species killed for sport. So there's a backlash when this happens. I also don't want to see individuals targeted. What I'd like to see, though, is the system change so that people don't hunt endangered species, like rhinos, like elephants, like lions. This is 2015. We don't have to kill an animal to save it.